St. Mary's Hospital, London, chemist Alder Wright attempted to modify morphine. His experiment was simple. He took morphine and added acetic acid. This liquid he then heated to 85 degrees for several hours. Next, he added ether to dissolve whatever he had made. After a few more chemical steps, which we can't reveal here, a substance precipitated out as flakes. Yet Wright didn't realize the importance of what he had made because of his testing methods. Wright gave some of this stuff to his dog to test it out. And he must have given the dog far too much because the dog became very sick and vomited. And so Wright sort of thought, well... <laughs> Was it the favorite family dog? <laughs> well, that I don't know. <laughs> but the dog sure got sick. And so he wrote up the experiment, but he put the substance aside and didn't study it again. However, some 15 or so years later, a chemist working from a German company called Farbenfabriken Friedrich Bayer discovered Wright's description of his synthesis in the published literature, and they tried it for themselves. So, as many good 19th century chemists did, they tasted it to see what it did. And one of them said that it made him feel absolutely wonderful, and they were going to call it wunderlich the German for wonderful. But another of his colleagues who had taken it said, this makes me feel heroic, heroic. And so they called it heroin. <laughs> and that's what we still call it today. And if you look oh at some goodness. of the old formulations, here are some tablets that Bayer issued. And this would have been used to relieve pain but it was also used to treat cough. This is an advert for stuff they called glycerone or glycoheroin. The adult dose, it says, is one teaspoonful every two hours. For children of 10 years or more, the dose is from one quarter to one half of a teaspoonful. And for children of three years or more, five to 10 drops. So you can see that this was being marketed for a wide range of individuals, young and old. Baer stated the new drug, which was five times more potent than morphine, had been cleared of all addictive properties. Whether for medical or recreational use, heroin medicines were sold in millions over the counter with little regulation in the East or West. And while heroin was thought to be safe, one group of Western crusaders started to raise alarm bells about the addictive nature